Greetings everyone from the Keeper Extraordinaire. My name is Will Bird and I want to show all you guys my reptile collection today. I'm down here in the dungeon right now. This is where I hibernate all of my animals. I have some carpet pythons that have been cooling down here. They're attempting to copulate uh, now. You can see a little tail search in there. This is uh, my workbench here. These are some diamond pythons. These are the real ones. And uh, it's time for them to be put together. So uh, I put all the males in with all the females to see if I can get any, any breeding activity. So far, uh, nothing's happened. But it's just early March now. Later in the year, they all get divided up into the rest of these cages. We're going to go on upstairs now, out of the dungeon, into my warmer area. Here's my freezer with my rats. Kitchen. Here's my my cabinet of curiosity some of you guys may have heard about with skulls and bones and teeth and such. Hi Hank. How you doing buddy? This is my uh, Paul Harris Jaguar from Germany and uh, that normal looking female there is a striped diamond coastal integrate that was produced by Steve Hammond about 14 years ago and this is, is her sister and she's also gravid. These two snakes have produced hundreds of babies for me over the last decade and more and I look forward to getting probably 65 babies out of these two snakes this year. Uh, the two down here have copulated and uh, you know they're going to produce jaguars. This animal was bred to a high contrast Queensland tiger carpet so I'll be interested to see what happens there. So uh, that's my living room, the only snakes I have down there right now. And we're going to go ahead, sorry about this, but we're going to go ahead and make our way up to the snake room. Or I guess the snake rooms, where the bulk of my collection is housed. There's hedgehogs, going to be getting rid of those. Here's uh, the command center, where uh, I email everybody and listen to everybody scream and yell at me on the phone. Oh. This is my incubator, or one of them. There's another one there, but right now I have some uh, jungle jaguar eggs that are set up. There's six in there, and I got another good group down here of, of a dozen. These are all from the same clutch. So I'll be looking forward to, to seeing what pips out of those here in about 50 days or so. But now the majority of my, of my collection is up here. Okay. There's a big 12 foot scrub python in that. These are boa file cages made by Jeff Ronnie. You can see a, uh, a jungle carpet in there. This is some 75% uh, diamond pythons here. But we're going to go into this room first. And this is a room where I, I rear a lot of younger snakes. Um, I guess we can look at some of these right now. Here we've got a, I've got a pair of western hognose. This is one of my calico cow suckers. Young little boys, real nice. Looking forward to, to breeding this species this year. Look out buddy. Here's another. This is one that I, I selectively held back because it doesn't really have any calico markings at all. Also up here have a have a pair of uh, Albano Brooks King Snakes. And uh, I just brought these up about two weeks ago. They should be uh, beginning to copulate soon. They've had their first meals. So they're looking good. Get back in there. These are my uh, uh, Kentucky locality uh, speckle king black king hybrids or I guess intergrades check them out there they're real nice snakes looking forward to raising those guys up and getting some babies also have a good number of these these lemon rat snakes which is another morph of the of the black rat snake that's what's in all these boxes going across here um, I have a large calico cow sucker that's about to shed right here 
she'll be looking good when she comes out of that skin. I have some other breeder snakes. This is a a het for calico rat snake. I should be able to show you guys some calicos as well. Here's one. It's just waiting to be hooked up with a female. Uh, as far as rat snakes go, I, I have several. Here's a lemon. Here's a an albino licorice stick rat that I should be able to breed this year. Haven't decided what to pair her up with quite yet. Uh, here we have the the Dixie Dumpling, another black rat morph. Here we have a, a really large ball python that's about to lay a bunch of eggs. Another. Got a whole bunch more rat snakes up in, in this area. This is one of my favorite corn snakes I'll show you guys. If I can get it out. This is just a beautiful specimen. This is one from here in Kentucky. Really nice. I have some other Kentucky animals as well that I'm hoping to show you guys. I don't know how this is going to work out, but these are my pine snakes. There she is. She's probably going to jump at the camera here in a minute. So I think I'll just kind of leave her alone. That's a wild collected snake. I also have one of her offspring who might cooperate with us. There she is. Tongue flicking. She's been doing really good for me. Looking forward to getting some babies out of her one day. This is another snake that I hatched. It's a 75% diamond python. It's my female.